Well, if you think the NFL ain't scripted, <laughs> no, but for real, um, I went into that Super Bowl last night with no rooting interest until my genius dog picked the Kansas City Chiefs. And I was like, okay, at least I have a rooting interest in this game now. But honestly, I didn't even turn the game on when it started. I was kind of just checking the score on my phone. I'm like, oh, it's not really much of a game. It's a low scoring first half. And then my wife is like, I want to see Usher. And then she actually turned the TV on to the game and watched the halftime show. And then I watched a little bit of the third quarter. And then I'm just like, all right, this is a pretty good competitive game. And, and all right, this fourth quarter is really popping off. And then, uh, oh my gosh, we got overtime. And oh my, wow. Okay, despite me <laughs> not seeing most of the first half, that was... Aside from the Eagles being the Patriots, that was the most exciting Super Bowl I think I've seen in my life. Like, I mean, that, that, that might be just, just a knee-jerk reaction of it right now, but just it, it, it's like I've said before, I, I respect greatness. Seeing someone win, a team win three Super Bowls in five years, that's greatness. That's all-time greatness. Like th This is an all-time great team that we saw still forming their, their storyline arc here. Um, and I, I know there's going to be people like, oh, it was rigged, obviously, the whole Taylor Swift thing. It was clearly... There are so many things in that game. If they went an ass hair in one direction or the other, that 49ers are winning that game easily. If Moody hits that extra point, there's like a 95% chance that this game isn't going to overtime and the 49ers leave the field as the victor. Uh, there just so many things. <clears throat> and I don't know, just, just as a fan of the game and just suspending my disbelief and not believing all that rigged shit. It was just an exciting game. Like, I mean, I, I like I ultimately I don't care if my dog got the, per the prediction correct. He picked against the Chiefs one time and got it wrong. So, uh, you know, because he picked the Chiefs and got it wrong. Uh, but... I was, for a game I had no interest in watching, that was so exciting. And congrats to Andy Reid, a former Eagles Eagles head coach here, man. Get, get and shine somewhere else. I have no problem with that. I'm not going to be a, an Angelo Cataldi, Andy Reid hater. Those of you in Philadelphia you know who Andrew, Angelo Cataldi is. Um, you know, I'm not going to be an Andy Reid. He never did anything here. He didn't win the big one. Who cares? Who cares? Donovan was... Too busy throwing stuff into the turf and bl blaming God for making the wind too windy that day. Anyway, um, if if you hate the Chiefs at this point and you hate Patrick Mahomes, like like okay, I understand. Like, like okay, I'm a, I'm a fan of the, the. Someone says like I'm a fan of the Broncos. I can't root for them. They're a rival. Like okay, I understand that. But even even myself, like growing up in my advent years of football in the late 80s and 90s and <clears throat> seeing the Dallas Cowboys dynasty form in the mid 90s, you know, I hated it as, as a rival to my team. I was envious. I was jealous. But damn, if I didn't respect that, that was one of the, mo the most well-oiled machines you've ever seen step to the football field. And I wanted my team to be them. I hated them as a rival, but respected them as three-time champions. How do you not respect this Kansas City Chiefs team now? What they did to get there, and first of all, I I kicked a lot of dirt on them this year because they were very flimsy in a lot of games, getting blown out by the Broncos, losing to the Raiders. There's a number of things you could point to that they looked very, very weak this year. But you know what they did? They went on the road, they won in Buffalo, they went on the road and won in Baltimore, and they went to the Super Bowl and beat a team that they were an underdog against in the San Francisco 49ers, and that was their path in the playoffs. If you would have told me going into the playoffs that the, the final three games that they're going to face in the playoffs were at Buffalo, at Baltimore, and then against the 49ers in Las Vegas... I would have told you there's a 0.0% .0 chance of that happening. This is just a championship team, and that is what championship teams do. And how can you not bow to that greatness? I don't care how they like how they look, how they looked getting blown out against the, the Broncos or losing the Raiders. Irrelevant now. All irrelevant. Again, you, you can hate all the Taylor Swift crap, but. 
it does does it really bother you that she appears on someone someone added it up like per NFL games it's 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 like an average of like a minute 20 of the out of the entire game that she appears on the screen like that bothers you that much and that's the thing like when I said going into this game like I I hate the whole Taylor Swift narr- narrative it's nauseating no I I hate the way that people are overreacting to it I don't I don't care that she appears on screen I don't care that she's dating one of the Kansas City Chief players She's dating one of the best tight ends of all time. Like, who cares? It just it just added to the story. Anyway, um, just a great Super Bowl. I even I even turned the LED lights to red on the people. Be like, oh, that could be for the 49ers too. Anyway, I, I, I turned them red. I usually have the LED lights on the back of my TV green for the Eagles. But anyway, I turned them red. So congrats, Kansas City. Um, you know, I, I, I honestly hope that like Andy Reid, I like, I, I love when people retire on a high note. Like I love when John Elway stepped out after winning a couple Super Bowls and Andy Reid has nothing left to prove now. Nothing left. He is in that elite class of head coaches in the NFL, arguably on the Mount Rushmore, dare I say, um, I mean, the guy, like, even even in Philadelphia, he averaged 10 wins a season in Philadelphia. Like, if people are going to sit there and say, like, he was a failure in Philadelphia, the guy, oh, who out there wouldn't take a coach that averages 10 wins per season and was there 10 seasons? Not like he had a, had a fluky three-year run in Philly. He was here for 10 seasons and averaged 10 wins. Or was it 12? I don't know. I suck at math. But anyway, someone's going to crazy. Actually, it was 12. Shut up. Anyways, it was, his average was 10 wins per season. That's all that matters. <clears throat> I mean, this was, this was the weakest offensive roster that Pat Mahomes had to work with of his Super Bowl qualifying teams. And... He 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 just went down. He went to a knockdown, drag out, full twelve round heavyweight bout, and just was just taking, taking a shot, giving it back, taking a shot, giving it back. Just I I got nothing respect but respect for greatness, man. I just I just feel the same shame that I sold myself short on this game that. I wasn't as into it because I just, I, I had no care for either team. Like there was no, I didn't feel there's nothing new or interesting coming into this game. But just as a fan of football, I love that game. That was a great game last night. It was a great game. I would have been satisfied with whoever won that game. No, honestly, it, it does warm my heart a little bit to see the 49ers that were crying that much out of the NFC Championship game. <laughs> you lost by three points to Kansas City, too. Come come, sit on the defeated couch with the Eagles. Uh, you couldn't get the job done either, you crybabies. Anyway, <clears throat> um, just a hell of a game. Uh, again, if you hate Patrick Mahomes, you hate Travis Kelsey for Dayton Taylor Swift, why are you watching football to begin with? Because all, all I saw last night was nothing but greatness. Um, speaking of seeing things, I saw a new dog when I came downstairs, and he just gave me that look saying, like, I knew this one. I knew where this one was going. And it, did you kind of like it? If you saw the video, he went back and forth between the two treats just to make – he even told you guys, he said, this is going to be a back and forth game. But Kansas City is going to win. He went back and forth to the treats and just said, nah, Kansas City's going to win. Oh, Kansas, oh, it looks like San Francisco's going to win. Oh, no, 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 no. Kansas City's going to get that touchdown in overtime. It's, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm watching greatness on TV last night. I'm living greatness, living with greatness, with New Dog. Six, six Super Bowl predictions correct from a dog. And this is... This ain't the first time. Like, he picked the Eagles in an underdog game, and he picked the Kansas City Chiefs in an underdog game. That's crazy. Congrats to everyone that made bank last night, thanks to my dog. Anyway, um, what say you about the game? What say you about my dog being a complete and utter genius? It's down off in the comments below. That is all.